<laughs> okay, so it is widely considered a dying sport, but duck pin bowling is very much alive at Victory Lanes in Portsmouth. Thanks for uh, sparing a little time as we go bowling on this week's edition of Rec on the Road. Most people will tell you they played this game when they were a young child, and that makes sense. The smaller and lighter ball of duck pin bowling is easier to handle, but that doesn't make this game any easier. Rolling a strike is probably more luck than uh, than skill. Uh, for that reason, you could you can hit right in the uh, right in the strike zone and uh, leave pin standing. To offset the difficulty of knocking down the pins, bowlers get three balls per frame. Still, nobody has ever rolled a perfect 300 game, and the best duck pin bowlers carry an average in the 150s. Jim Sladek and a bunch of his friends meet a couple times a week at Victory Lanes in Portsmouth. Since the first time Jim picked up the smaller duck pin ball, he knew he was hooked. I started duck pin bowling uh, oh, about seven years ago after my wife passed away. A neighbor came over and said, hey, how'd you like to try duck pin bowling? What in the world's duck pin bowling? Well, it turns out I've been passing by Victory Lanes here for the past 20 years, working over at St. Julian Creek. Never knew what it was. People think it's not here. They don't realize it's here. And if you tell them you bowl, and they'll, they'll ask you about it, and you say, no, I bowl duck pins. And they said, I've never heard of duck pins. Duck pin bowling has a small yet loyal group of followers. Unlike traditional 10 pin bowling, duck pin bowling is losing traction and is mostly played in the mid-Atlantic states. And Victory Lanes is the only house in town where you can experience this old school game. The story goes the only reason that uh, uh, duck pin bowling isn't as famous, if you will, as uh, 10 pin bowling is the uh, owner decided not to sign up with uh, and license his product to some folks known as Brunswick. Well, it turned out that uh, he kind of lost in the long run. It's on the decline. We really don't know why. Uh, it's about a hundred year old sport. It's been in Tadwater since 1930, I guess. Christine Hoffmeister first tried duck pin bowling Memorial Day weekend back in 1979. 35 years later, she still plays twice a week. Oh, it's great. It's a good exercise. It's, you don't have to be great at it, but you can still try. And I just love it. My family would like me to quit because of my age, but I'm not going to. Christine is 94 years old. Her best game ever, a 202. What is the trick to being good at this? I don't think there is a trick. It's just if you can get up there and get your arm back and throw a ball, you know, it goes. But sometimes your arm won't get back and you, get, you bend your elbow and then you're done. You're done for. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's a great game. I love it. So, it just seems like fun. It is. It is. Anybody can do it. Anybody. No matter how old you are, as long as you can walk up to the line and throw a ball, you're okay. All right, Christine, great. let's yep, hear it for Christine that. and everybody 94, else. Listen, she looks 94, great. 94, and she's having a blast doing mm -hmm. it. Not, they all are having a great time. Summer leagues are starting right now. Don't forget Victory Lanes in Portsmouth. It's a fun game for all ages. Anybody can do it, even you and me. Yeah, okay, let me give it a try. We're going to try some pitas in just a moment. <laughs> Stick around, everybody.